Hello everyone. Welcome to Arduino and my robot course. So this is chapter two and we'll be learning what is a robot. So when you think of a robot, you can imagine you would be thinking of some, some movie where you can see uh, like Terminator creature and it's hunting for people. Yes, that is a robot, but there are many more types of robot that we'll be covering that will not be hunting you, but that will be helping you. So robots are designed on the basic of certain principles, certain laws. And one of the law is that it should not harm any human being. If you know more about these laws, please comment and share uh, your views into the comment section. Okay, now we'll start. So at the bottom here, you can see there are two robots and both robots are path following robots. And we'll be learning more about them in the future sessions. But as of now, we'll be learning how to categorize all the robots on different uh, parameters and criteria. Okay. So robot is a basically a machine that you will be building or that will be helping you in your work. There are some places where which uh, where the human are not safe to work. Like if uh, a human is working at very great height or if a human is working in a radioactive environment. So it's not good for human life. So in that case, we generate some solution and that solution is a robot. So robot is basically a machine that is capable of doing various works. And best part is we can train our robot or we can program our robot to do any kind of work. So how does it work? It runs on electricity like we need energy and we get it from food, right? So robots also need energy to run and that is that energy comes as in the form of electricity and that electric electricity comes from the battery or the from, uh, from a different kind of power sources. Every robot will be having some components like sensors, arms, brains, etc. If you are not able to relate it, you can think uh, there are many parts that are attached to robot like uh, wheels are attached, sensors are attached, okay, many different things are attached. So these are called as components. So when we see like uh, what could be the classification, okay, so there are basically two types uh, on a broader perspective. We can classify into two different category. One is autonomous and second one is mobile. So autonomous, they take their own decision like pathfinding robot. So pathfinding robot is a robot that decides which path it should be taking to move. So we'll draw a black line. So it will always follow the black line. So you might have seen certain robots that follow certain specific path. Okay. So you can see a video in Amazon uh, on YouTube that uh, there is an Amazon store and the robots are picking things and placing it back into the rack. So they are path following robot. They walk on a certain path. That path is already fixed and they'll be walking on those path only. Then we have mobile robot. These robots can move from one point to other, but these can be also controlled by any user. Okay. Now let's see uh, the third one can be the combination of both. So when we come to application, you can see this yellow part. Okay. These all yellow things are robots. So they are automatically picking up the different parts of the car and attaching it. So this complete process is automated so these are applications of robots in industry so many critical parts are to be fastened over person over this car or the precision at which the machine works is really great as compared to human being and also they do not get tired okay so human human people or human kind or we will get tired when we work for like eight hours or nine hours or ten hours but robots do not get tired. That's the reason these are being used in industry. So recently you might have heard that NASA has sent a robot on, on the Mars. And this is that. And uh, I would love to know your comment in the field. You can type in comment the name of the robot that was sent by NASA into the onto the Mars surface for exploration. So 
we do use robots in space. This is a robot that is doing operation. Okay. So this is also used nowadays in hospitals. Doctors can operate from far distance, like he is at home, but the patient is in Mumbai and he's currently in Delhi. So by using internet high speed internet connections, the doctors can even operate from uh, different part of the world. Okay. Of course, there will be a team that will be assisting the patient and controlling and monitoring different uh, body, uh, uh, how to say, like different uh, parameters that are to be controlled for the robot and for humankind, like O2, O2 level of blood and all those things that will be taken care by the doctor's team that will be present there. But one of the surgeon, the major surgeon can operate it using uh, internet from very far away position. So this is a robot that is being used in agriculture field. It is used basically for seeding or removing weeds from the uh, weed means unwanted uh, grass that grow into the field that will take the nutrition of the main plants. So they are to be removed from the land so that all the nutritions or all the fertilizers are absorbed by the crops. So this is a robot that is being used in agriculture. Nowadays, we are seeing drones flying over uh, the fields and spraying the pesticide and fertilizers. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated this uh, drone thing for agriculture field. So that is also a kind of utilization in agriculture. And so this is a military uh, robot. So what it can do is, you know, in, in wars, there is a loss of human life. Okay. So if our wars can be fought by robots or by machines, we will not lose people. Okay. If you remember in Kargil, we lost thousands and thousands of men and many people died in that war. Okay. So these kind of robots will save many people life and they will fight on behalf of us. And we'll be having a remote controlled pilot. He will be sitting somewhere and he'll be guiding this machine okay and also there are ways where these are not guided by uh human being they can take their own decision based on the base on the basis of different criteria of different coding that we do the drones that are flying above us uh, that are basically used by us for killing uh different terrorists that are also application of military robots Robots are also used for entertainment purpose. I think we all have bought some kind of robot or, or remote controlled car that are being used by us or we have at least played them or bought them or gifted them at least to our friends. So robots are also used for entertainment purpose. Now let's understand what are the basic components of a robot. Okay? So for a human, just imagine a human body and you will see that it has head Human has eyes, ears, hands to pick up the things, legs to move, brain to think, eyes to see, ear to listen, right? Same, same things we are going to add into robot so that we can get it similar to human being and ask them to work for us. Okay? For hands, we can use, uh, we'll be using a term called as gripper arm. So this is, a, uh, you, you can see this as arm for the robot, okay? This one. You can also even see here. So what we do it, we can attach a spring system here and on the basis of controls that we'll be setting, this will try to pick up the object. Okay. Now in robots, like we walk on our food, right? So how to move a robot? If we want to move our robot, we have to put some wheels on that. Okay. Like a car, car can move by wheels. So to move a robot, we'll be using a wheel. A wheel will be similar to normal foot or feet of the human being. Now, to move hand or leg, we'll need some energy or muscle power. So that power comes through motor. Okay, so motor will be similar to human muscle. So what is the chases? Okay, suppose a human body, we have flesh, we have all the veins, blood and all those things are surrounding our basic skeleton. Okay bones that we have so that is a support if we remove the bone we'll be like earthworm we cannot stand we have to just uh, slide on the ground and move okay but by 
skeleton we can move and uh, stand run all those things okay so it gives a support to our all the body systems same way if we want to use wheels motors sensors and all we have to put it on some hard piece that hard piece that give us space to put all those components will be called as chassis or the body part so let's see these are the sensors okay these are led sensors these are some different kind of sensor that are used for detecting if there is something ahead of our nose we'll come exactly what these are called and and what terms are to be used at later state as of now we'll be considering them just as a sensor so sensors are eyes ear nose of the robot okay okay now let's see some basic sensors so these kind of sensors are called as light sensors you might have seen them in alarm clocks or you might have seen them in pendulum clocks where during daytime uh, when the light falls on it the current starts flowing through them and if light does not fall on it it will be hidden uh, sorry the current will not pass and the bulb will not glow you might have seen that uh, during daytime the sun light will turn off automatically and during night time the light will glow so we use these kind of sensors in that that detect or allow the current to flow on the basis of light as the light flows on this the circuit gets complete and we can utilize it okay then we have sound sensor these sensors are used to detect any kind of sound okay if there is a sound it will automatically start working this is called as proximity sensors so here we have two led lights these are called as led lights so these are for picking signals okay so proximity sensor as the name says proximity means something it detects if it is having uh, something near it so that's called as proximity sensor distance sensor so these look like eyes right so these are the sensor that will be measuring the distance ahead of it so we can use these two components to make our robot we will we'll also cover a project on these two sensors and we'll learn more about these sensors in the later stages okay for brain as we as the video course says Arduino, we'll be using Arduino as the brain of our robot so this is a basically a chip that can be programmed or where we'll be writing code for different ports so you see these are the ports you see numbers are there 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these are the port, uh, ports and we'll be uh, writing code for all these ports so if we connect 0 and 1 what kind of things are going to happen if we connect 13 and 12 what things will be happening if we attach any fan here on 19 sorry on 9 and 10 how to operate those so all those kind of codings will be done from here itself okay We'll be covering this uh, Arduino in one complete lecture. I will be uh, dedicating complete lecture on this Arduino. So don't worry. As of now, we'll be just uh, what you have to remember is these are the basic components of the robot. And thank you so much. So this is for video, uh, sorry, chapter number two. And I request you to watch previous videos before moving further ahead. Thank you.